right now we're doing a poster for one of our events for Hope Week, which takes place at the end of September. And basically what Hope Week is, it's like a little introduction to what we do like as like Hope Squad members. And so the student body just like knows that Hope Squad is here and like who we are and what we do. Because we're not just a, um, uh, reactive group. We also try to prevent um, the need for the referral in the first place. So in other words, we try to promote a positive culture um, to stop bullying, stop cyberbullying, and just present a culture of togetherness. And Hope Squad is basically a peer-to-peer -peer, um, suicide prevention organization that's all about educating the student body on like um, youth suicide and other mental illnesses. I decided to join Hope Squad because at Little Elm High School my heart has been touched by so many teachers and so many of my friends here and I feel like for us to spread that gratefulness back. It's okay to not always feel okay. Everyone has bad days. I mean mental health is not it's not a linear growth, like you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, and you just kind of have to ride, ride the wave a little bit, but it will always get better in the end. I've learned QPR training, which is question, persuade, and refer, and this is my first year doing Hope Squad, so I've learned a lot about the first signs of suicidal awareness and when people aren't okay, and you know, it's always just important to check up on your friends, even if they're your closest friend and if they seem happy all the time. I just learned like the first signs of when somebody's not okay. Mental health is something that I've struggled with in the past, and it's something that a lot of people close to me have struggled with, and I really like Hope Squad because their aim is to prevent the mental health from getting to the point where there's like no going back. So uh, the number one thing we want to do is stop the, um, the negativity of mental health. We want kids to feel comfortable um, talking about their mental health and to be okay with asking for help when they need it. So before it gets out of control. So that's the number one goal. Um, in the spring, we do a mental health Fair. We did that last year um, where the kids at the Hope Squad created booths that promoted uh, different things for uh, taking care of yourself. So. I think Hope Squad is so important because it's just like an organization that's like trying to change the attitude at the school specifically because like there's a lot of stigma and just around like mental illness in general and like Sometimes it's forced on us to like be okay all the time or like handle all these things. And like Hope Squad is important and it's just a way for us to be like, hey, it's okay if you're not okay because ev like everybody's going through something and like there's people here who want to help you and like make you feel better. So you can be your best self at the school. If you or somebody you know needs help, you can um, talk to a Hope Squad member like around the school or you can just talk to a trusted adult so they can get you the help that you need with a counselor or um, another trusted health professional. Or you can text this line or call this line. And remember, somebody loves you. Join Hope Squad. Join Hope Squad. Join Hope Squad. Yay.